EPS4. Hey guys, this is Elemental Tacos, and I'm back with some gameplay of Sideshow, which is one of the maps that came with the Havoc DLC for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare recently on PlayStation. Um, this is a pretty creepy map if you think about it. A lot of creepy clowns. And I've heard it's based off an actual hotel, uh, or motel really, somewhere in a state that I do not live. Uh, so, let's get on with some gameplay. Uh, I'm going to be talking through it if you guys want to hear my amazing voice. If you don't, I guess you can turn down the volume, but if you want to hear the yeah, the way the video is supposed to be, then you got to listen to my voice. Anyway, so yeah, as you can see, this is already pretty creepy based off of this loading screen. Uh, a lot of clowns. There's a deadly looking clown on the right and a uh, toy machine on the left with no toys. It's, that's sad. Anyway, here we go. You guys are going to see me kill some people and yeah I didn't really think about using the mic during the gameplay so sorry about that I could have done that but I totally forgot about it so I just had to go back through afterwards and then commentar commentate I guess would be the word on the video uh, so yeah as you can see there's a taco truck that I just passed by kind of weird, but tacos are pretty tasty, so why not throw a taco truck in a completely map, a map that's already completely random. Why, why not throw another taco truck in there? Taco trucks er make everything better, as you guys already know. And I just got killed. That guy came up behind me. I mean, look at the pictures on the sides of the wall. That's creepy. There's like clowns staring at you while you're swimming. That's just creepy. This is probably the second smallest map to be in the Havoc map pack. Um, probably because... I mean, there's not a whole lot you can do with the motel making it big. Which I like small maps. Small maps are great for quick gameplay, as you guys know, because Nuketown from Black Ops is one of the most famous Call of Duty maps ever. Uh, it's like one of the best. Can't really think of any other map that's done as well as it has. Um, and Sideshow is really just a crazy map. I mean, it's got a completely... It's a little more out there than the rest of maps, and I like those maps that are out there, like from Ghosts. Uh, had fog, Call of Duty Ghosts. I liked that map. Thought it was really cool because it was just different. It was it was creepy, kind of like this map, except it was a little less clown-based. It was more on uh, horror movies and stuff like that. But still, both these maps are pretty cool. Yeah. I almost got that guy. So, yeah, I mean, as you guys can really tell, just by the picture of it, I mean, you don't really even need to play the map to know this is really weird. I mean, I looked at the trailer, and this was the first glance of the trailer for Havoc. I knew that this was the map I was going to be really excited about. I mean, I totally love the other maps, too. I mean, they're amazing, all four of them. But this map is just, like, crazy. Like got a completely different theme. I mean, this is the last place. This is like one of the last places you would expect to be in the middle of a war in the future. Futuristic war because I mean, I if I were if I were to like say if you went to the military, you would not expect to be here. And that's why this is one of the more amazing maps of the Call of Duty franchise. And I think Sledgehammer did really well with making this map because it's different. And it just got killed by two dudes. They teamed up on me. Um, 
Now, this map in a way reminds me a little bit of a nuke town, just based off of the colors and the. For some reason, this map reminds me of a nuke town. You guys might be asking why. Mostly because um, it's the colors. They're very nuke town like, and the two buildings. It reminds me of the two buildings from Nuketown where they had the Mason house and the Woods house. Um, the green and yellow, or some color like that. And um, there was this truck in the middle. But here we got two, two motel buildings. Um, and then we've got a truck in the middle, in between the two. Except they're not quite across from each other, they're kind of next to each other. But it's still a similar concept. I mean, you guys know this map is slightly bigger than Nuketown, but probably for a good reason in Advanced Warfare. If we had a map like Nuketown, which would be amazing if we got like a remake in the later, but I don't see how it would work unless they expanded the neighborhood somehow because Nuketown's so small and the advanced, and the, like, the suits have made it to where we can go further faster. The exosuits, which is something we've never had in a Call of Duty before. Um... I don't really see how nuke, a map like Nuketown would really easily be implemented into Advanced Warfare unless they did something like made there to be more areas to go, but then it wouldn't be an exact remake of the layout, like if they chose to do a different theme for the map, or if they chose to remake it into a new map, or if they just chose to completely bring it back. Um, I don't really see how this would work if they brought back Nuketown or remade it. Unless they did the same thing they did with um, the map shipment from Modern Warfare 4 on Call of Duty Ghosts in the last map pack, uh, Nemesis, they remade in the map and called it Showtime. Uh, they changed the theme, as with, is done with a lot of remade maps. Um, made it a different map with a, almost the same layout. They had to add some extra areas to go because it, shipment is the smallest map in Call of Duty history. It's so... It's tiny. I mean, it's like... Tiny. Uh, and... Even for ghosts, they had to expand the area, so I don't really see how... How Nuketown would really make it into Advanced Warfare, unless they expanded some areas. Now, I know that was a little bit off topic of Sideshow, but I kind of got rambling on thinking about... How Sideshow and Nuketown are somewhat similar. Although, Urban seems to be more of the Advanced Warfare Nuketown um, because it's smaller. If you guys want, you can go check out that video of uh, Urban gameplay. You'd have to type in EPS4, then space, hyphen, or dash, or whatever that thing is. Uh, then another space and Urban gameplay. Uh, this is my third episode of EPS4 uh, after Urban gameplay and Knife Game. Um, and I will be making more videos as time goes on, I should be. Uh, and you know what I think would be awesome? If we could at least get five likes on this video, I'm just starting out really. I'm not a huge channel as you can see. <laughs> um, but if we could get at least five likes, I'd be pretty happy. I'd be content with one of my very early videos. And I know that's a very small quota, but, but, I feel like it's one that we can make right now, I may shoot for bigger quotas later on, and, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the gameplay of this map, uh, yeah, so, I hope you enjoyed this, like I said before, uh, this was Sideshow Gameplay, EPS4, Episode 3, uh, if you guys, yeah, subscribe, do all that good stuff, um, like, leave suggestions in the comments for good, good new videos and stuff. And remember, Oblo and Inglace.